The world is seeing a sharp increase in the number of millionaires in the past couple of years. But not all of these millionaires end up becoming billionaires. And since only a very lucky few have, let's look into how these seven millionaires became billionaires in such a short time. Number one, Bill Gates. Anytime you think of a billionaire, you'll probably think of Bill Gates. The shy founder of Microsoft took years to become a millionaire and then shifted from being a millionaire to a billionaire in just five years. After going public with Microsoft in 1986, Gates put his love for computer science out there for everybody to see. He became the company's CEO and rose to prominence as one of the richest people in the US. The shares he sold made him $1.6 million, and the 45% stake he retained gained a market value of $350 million back then. The young CEO celebrated his newfound wealth by making some very sensible decisions. He paid off his $150,000 mortgage, he told Fortune in 1986. This was apparently a smart move because it's important to eliminate any debt, including a mortgage, as quickly as possible. Paying off his mortgage was also more practical than some of Gates' earlier decisions and helped him save and invest his money carefully. Gates' wealth continued to balloon after Microsoft's IPO, and he became a billionaire in 1987 at age 31. At the time, he was the youngest person ever to reach the milestone. And by 1995, his fortune had grown to $12.9 billion, making the then 39-year-old the world's richest man, a title he held for years afterwards. Number two, Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban went from being a millionaire to a billionaire quite fast. He has invested in hundreds of successful companies to date and clearly has a sharp eye for profitable investments. In the 1990s, Cuban founded and sold several startups that helped him reach the highly coveted billionaire status. After this, in 2000, he paid $285 million for a majority stake in the popular Dallas Mavericks. Under his ownership, the team won an NBA championship in 2011 and is now valued at an estimated $2.3 billion, according to Forbes. But according to Cuban, his strong track record of self-driven financial success and his tough past were the main reasons why he was so driven to achieve the billionaire title. His company, Micro Solutions, would go on to make Cuban a millionaire. In 1990, he sold the company to CompuServe for $6 million. Five years later, he and a friend, Todd Wagner, started Broadcast.com, which was acquired by Yahoo in 1999 for $5.7 billion in stock. The sale of Broadcast.com successfully placed him in the list of the richest billionaires in the world. Number three, Mark Zuckerberg. You might find this a little difficult to believe, but Facebook co-founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg made the leap from millionaire to billionaire in just one year. Zuckerberg's path was lightning fast compared to other millionaires like the Berkshire Hathaway CEO and investing guru Warren Buffett, or to Coke Industries owner Charles Koch, who took 22 years to get there. After creating Facebook, while he was still in sophomore year, Zuckerberg was not expecting it to be as popular as it turned out. It blew up really soon, and this explosion of user growth attracted the attention of many venture capital firms, and Zuckerberg eventually moved out to Silicon Valley in 2005. Facebook received its first round of venture capital investments from Excel Partners, which invested $12.7 million in the site that was still only open to Ivy League students. By the end of 2005, however, Facebook had opened up to students attending other schools, causing the website to reach 5.5 million users. Facebook has been growing exponentially since then, and as of January 30th, 2020, the company has a market cap of $598 billion. Zuckerberg also owns over 375 million Facebook shares and holds 60% of voting rights in the company. Number four, Bernard Arnault. Bernard Arnault, the chairman of LVMH, is currently 72 years old and has a net worth of a whopping $150 billion. Even though Bernard was an engineer by training, his business chops became apparent while working for his father's construction firm, Barrett Savinel, which he would take control of in 1971. He later converted Ferret 7L to a real estate company named Ferret Inc. in 1979 and earned millions off the deals that it made. As the company grew, he expanded his investments into a range of other fields like fashion and beauty. This made him a billionaire pretty quick. His business currently owns some of the biggest brands on earth, including Louis Vuitton, Hennessy, Marc Jacobs, Sephora, and many more. The majority of his wealth, however, actually comes from his massive stake in Christian Dior SE 
the holding company that controls 41.2% of LVMH. His shares in Christian Dior SC, plus an additional 6.2% in LVMH, are held through his family-owned holding company, Group Arno SE. And even though he's 72 years old, Arno is still going strong. Who knows? He might even end up on the list of trillionaires in the future. Number five, Jeff Bezos. It took Jeff Bezos two years to make the jump from a millionaire to a billionaire. He is currently 57 years old and has a net worth of $177 billion. The Amazon founder also owns Blue Origin, The Washington Post, and $9.75 billion in cash. Though Amazon.com originally started out selling books, it has since morphed into a one-stop shop for everything under the sun and is arguably the world's largest retailer. It acquired Whole Foods in 2017 and launched its own branded over-the-counter drugs in February of 2018. In 2020, Amazon's share price skyrocketed on the heightened demand for online shopping as lockdowns forced consumers to stay home. Bezos originally took Amazon public in 1997 and ended up becoming the first man since Bill Gates in 1999 to achieve a net worth of more than $100 billion. Bezos' other projects include aerospace company Blue Origin, the Washington Post, which he purchased in 2013, and the 10,000-year clock, also known as the Long Now. Number six, Elon Musk. 49-year-old billionaire Elon Musk is currently worth $151 billion and owns a range of companies, including Neuralink and Tesla. Elon Musk has had his hands in several different companies over the years. Originally enrolled at Stanford University, Musk deferred his attendance to launch Zip2, one of the earliest online navigation services. Then he created X.com, an online payment system that later became PayPal. After this, he initiated Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, which aims to make space exploration more affordable. After he established all these businesses, Tesla's stock price experienced an astronomical surge in 2020, having risen 705% from the start of the year to mid-December. It joined the S&P 500 that same month, the largest company added thus far. This also changed Musk's status from a millionaire to a billionaire. Number seven, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett became a billionaire at only 26 years old. He is currently 90 years old and has a net worth of $96 billion. Buffett first bought shares in a textile company called Berkshire Hathaway in 1962, becoming the majority shareholder by 1965. He expanded the company to insurance and other investments in 1967. As of now, Berkshire Hathaway is a half trillion dollar company with a single share of stock trading at more than $390,000 per share in early 2021. While many investors have been piling into tech companies, Buffett has opted for a more cautious approach, only buying from well-established companies that are easier to understand, such as IBM and Apple. This has made him the billionaire he is today. Elon Musk is the world's richest person with a net worth of $271.4 billion. After investing millions in space, what is it that still keeps this billionaire tech entrepreneur pinned to earth? Well, right now, we're just going to have a look at 10 of the craziest things owned by Elon Musk. James Bond's submarine car. Musk bought James Bond's iconic Lotus Esprit vehicle from the spy who loved me. The thought behind this purchase? He intended to make its movie transformation from car to submarine a reality. The car was bought for $997,000 at an auction in London, with the buyer's identity hidden initially. Elon's name was confirmed later on by Tesla's PR team. Labeled as Wet Nelly on set, the car has been occasionally exhibited at museums. It moves forward via a bank of four propellers, with their electric motors being driven by batteries housed in a watertight compartment. The expressed fins are attuned with mechanical levers that are functioned by their driver. Submerged, the Lotus has a turning circle of around 20 feet. Its dive and climb performance are controlled by ballast tanks, and it's been described as crisply argonautic. Musk's determination to tackle intimidating technological challenges is undoubted. Tesla's all-electric pickup truck's design was also inspired by this submarine car. SpaceX Starship Starship is a fully reusable transport system capable of carrying up to 100 people to Mars. 
Musk believes that settling humans on other worlds could preserve civilization, if the Earth were to go through a cataclysm, such as a large asteroid hitting the planet. Starship sits atop a rocket called Super Heavy. The collective system stands 120 meters, or 394 feet tall. With its nose cone and landing fins, the stainless steel vehicle bears a resemblance to the rocket ships from the golden age of science fiction. SpaceX developed six highly efficient Raptor engines at the rear, 50 meters, 160 feet. The combustion takes place in stages, and the engine's design cuts the volume of propellant that's wasted. It can take up to nine months for long haul trips to Mars and back to Mother Earth. SpaceX plans to launch Starship on Super Heavy for its first orbital test flight in 2022. Tesla Diamond Ring The famous celebrity jeweler Ben Baller crafted a diamond ring with Tesla's name and logo and gifted it to the company's owner, Mr. Musk, for Christmas in 2018. He announced this gift in an Instagram post. The bright pink ring has become the first piece of custom jewelry Baller has ever gifted someone. This ring is worth $37,000. It's made of solid platinum and custom cut diamond baguettes to spell out T-E-S-L-A, which was surrounded by round, brilliant white diamonds and rubies which were cut by hand. What's the reason behind this gift? Well, Musk has motivated Baller and his best friend Paul to level up and push limits to achieve their goals. It's a way for him to salute Musk for giving almost 50,000 jobs to Americans and putting the USA back on the map as a competitor in the auto industry. The ring was designed and created in America, just like Tesla's cars. McLaren F1 Hypercar. Everyone's well aware of Musk's go big or go home attitude. Well, we all saw it fitting when he got himself one of the 64 McLaren F1s in the world back in 1999, when one of his companies got sold. Engineered by the legendary duo of Peter Stevens and Gordon Murray, it highlighted the newest progressions forged by the company's success in Formula One motor racing. The car is powered by a BMW 6.1 liter, 627 horsepower V12 engine. The hand-built carbon fiber hypercar can speed up to more than 240 miles per hour. Musk used the car as his daily driver for several years. Tesla-inspired, python-covered Air Jordans. Musk's Tesla-inspired, python-covered Air Jordans debuted at the company's Model Y unveiling. It caught the attention of the audience as he walked on stage flaunting his sneakers. It was a pair specially made for the billionaire by DeMarco Custom Sneakers. According to the company, a close friend of Musk's, who also happens to be a Tesla investor, ordered shoes on his behalf. The Jordan 1 sneakers were redesigned using fine leather, featuring a laser-cut toe box with a Tesla logo pasted on genuine python with black hair on high. The design was inspired by Tesla's Roadster, as the sneakers boast a sporty black and red palette. Want to buy shoes like his? A similar pair, but without Tesla's logo, can be bought on Jordan's official website for $950. Boxable Casita Home. By now, you must have realized Musk's ways of spending and living is a bit different from other rich personalities around the globe. It shouldn't come off as a surprise that after selling off nearly all of his real estate holdings, for now, Musk's abode is a tiny house called Boxable near SpaceX Ground Zero in Boca Chica, Texas. The house is 20 by 20 is commonly known as an accessory dwelling unit, ADU, or a guest house. But in the world of Boxable, it's referred to as Casita. This home is earthquake and fire resistant. The main materials used in this Casita are concrete, steel, and EPS foam, all chosen for their durability. This home is rated for hurricane strength winds. There's no wood or sheetrock that could be dented by water. The Casita won't decay or weaken due to moisture from floods either. Gulfstream 650ER. After owning the best car of its time, a carrier to space, and a car submarine, Elon also owns a $65 million Gulfstream G650ER private jet. The G650ER boasts a range of 7,500 nautical miles and speeds of up to Mach 0.925, enabled by Rolls-Royce VR725 engines. With that range, Musk can easily jet between any two cities in the world in one stop, or even less. 
Hammond BMW M5 and Audi Q7. The BMW M5 is an upgraded version of the 5 Series car that lacks a 560 horsepower twin turbo V8 punch and comes from a long line of high performance vehicles tuned by BMW's M division. With a top speed of 189 miles per hour, the car is greater and heftier than ever. It remains seriously fast and is one of the finest BMW cars for running around a test track. The car comes with all wheel drive, manual or automatic transmission, a 4.4 liter force fed V8 engine and a zero to 60 speed of 4.1 to 4.2 seconds. Elon's Audi Q7, which costs around $70,000, is both stylish, fast, and luxurious. The car can speed up to 134.2 to 144.8 miles per hour, a 0 to 60 speed of 4.7 to 7.1 seconds, and a 3.0 liter V6 diesel engine. When it launched in 2006, it was one of the largest, most advanced off-roaders money could buy. It was a purchase he made after the birth of his triplets from his first marriage. A car to carry and manage a family of seven. X.com. This asset of Musk would attract all the tech geeks out there. A website domain is one of his most prized and craziest possessions. Elon Musk owned his second ever company back in 2002 with the domain name called X.com that later became one of the biggest online banks globally, called PayPal. The X.com domain name most recently belonged to PayPal, which put Musk on the map. The domain name was linked to the Boring Company's website, Bel Air Home. Musk bought this house for $17 million, and this massive property is located in the quiet Californian suburbs of Bel Air. The mansion expands to 20,248 square feet and has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a giant screening room, a pool, a tennis court, next to a number of other luxuries. There's a large living room, and the gigantic kitchen has a brick ceiling and a huge center island. Elon Musk owns numerous other crazy things and is expected to think of more cool ideas and make crazy purchases in the future. Which one of his prized possessions impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section. To see more of these videos, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon.